Pat, congratulations on going through. Um, I've got to ask you about what happened at the end of the game, though. Did the Atletico Madrid players cross the line in terms of what's acceptable? Nothing to say. Jack. Pep, how, um, how proud are you of your players for the composure they, they showed late on in the game tonight? Because there was a lot going on. They, they, they pushed us a lot. Uh, they were excellent in the second half. We forgot to play. Uh, and we were in a big, big trouble. Uh, they had the chances to score. The second half, we had just one for the action from Ria, uh, Rahim with, uh, with Gundo. The first half was pretty good, except the first five, ten minutes that they knew they, they came up aggressively. Um, we had uh, one or two clear, clear chances by the second half. Uh, in 180 minutes, the, sec the second half for the second leg, they were much better. Um, but in the same time, we defend with anything, with everything, and Fernandinho was was uh, was excellent. He gave us an incredible boost in that in that moment, and Nathan as well. Um, yeah, so we we have to adapt because when a team played like Atletico Madrid the second half and we could not have the ball and our build up was a little bit without intention, just to I pass you the ball to you, you pass the ball to the other one, with that really really play because it's one zero the champions league we are not used to play this competition much it's the third time in our history just to win semi-final so and uh, yeah we felt a little bit the pressure and Atletico Madrid was brilliant in the second half so but we are in semi-finals and for our club is an incredible achievement Mike. Um, uh, okay um uh, could Phil Foden? Did he have a, a cut on the, on his head, and did he feel that that could be that was a red card offence in the first half? No, I don't talk about referees and no. the and the opponents neither. Could I ask when you when you went down the tunnel? Was that beer you had thrown on you? I don't talk about referees. The action was everyone saw the action, and and that's all. So nothing to say. Behind you, please, lady in the in the white coat. Come to you in a set, Rob. Lady in the white coat. Hola, Pep. ¿Qué tal? Buenas noches. Cristina García de Mediaset. Siempre se ha criticado al Atlético por ser muy defensivo, por las pérdidas de tiempo, pero hoy se ha visto a un City muy desdibujado. No sé si le ha sorprendido el planteamiento de Simeone y si tiene la sensación de que en este partido se han dado un poco la vuelta a las tornas. ¿Quién ha criticado al Atlético de Madrid? En general, bueno, el otro día dijo usted que no. desde la prehistoria hace 100.000 años no, era no, muy no, difícil no. con un 5-5 atacar. ¿Le ha no. sorprendido hoy el Cholo? No te equivoques, yo no dije esto. Yo dije que siempre, muchos años antes, hoy y siempre, cuando un equipo defiende muy bien defensivamente atrás, siempre es difícil. Solo dije esto. ¿Le ha parecido hoy más difícil? Muchísimo. No esperaba otra cosa. Lo dije en una de prensa. Sería un partido completamente distinto, completamente distinto... Y en el descanso lo hemos hablado, ahora viene lo peor, lo más duro, la fatiga de nuestro partido de Liverpool hace tres días, el viaje, y en eso hemos de tener el balón, y en la segunda parte nos han pasado por encima. Uh, y si hubieran hecho un gol probablemente no estaríamos aquí sentados diciendo que el City está clasificado. Pero el partido de ida en la primera parte hemos estado a nuestro, diría, diría, nivel. Hi, Pat. Um, hi. Um, I know, you know, obviously not particularly pleased with the performance in the second half, but you must be very impressed with the, the mental strength of your players to be able to come through an evening like that. Yeah, but absolutely, we defend everything, but they had the chances. What would happen if they score in the last action? Uh, the mental strength will not be there. Of course, we'll be there. So they, they did gave everything. We had in all this competition and, and this stadium with the uh, people always is difficult, really one. So that's why he's a... He's a it's a big compliment for the players, so because we have to live these kind of situations. We have to live. We cannot expect that every time, especially in Champions League, with the champion from Spain, we are going to to make, uh, you know, everything marvelous. So we have to suffer. But Empire, we suffer because 
we forgot it to play, but apart because the opponent was really, really, really good. And when this happened, you try to do, take the ball, take the ball, but you are not able. And with the people and the chances they had, so they had the, the, the options to, to score a goal. Stand in front. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> um, Pep, what do you think of um, John Stones' performance today? Was that one of the best performances? Sorry? Uh, John Stones. John is, was brilliant. Yeah, definitely. And I'm as well. Everyone. So, a lot of games in our legs and uh, the travel from after Liverpool game was so demanding and uh, we drop in the second half we drop our intention and our but we were silent and we were there we were there and at the end we were lucky enough to to go through but again it's two games and in in general in them both games we deserve to go through okay. so. um, sorry um, I know you said you don't want to comment on what happened at the end, but can I ask why that is? Because it, it did seem pretty clear. No, no, that I, don't say, I don't have anything to say about but, that. But it did seem your team weren't the aggressors. No, 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 I don't want to add anything. No, no, no. Dinner today, come back to, to, to England okay, to prepare okay, well, the FA Cup semi-final.